What you listening to, son? I don't think you like it. Well, why not? I like this new generation of music. What's going on, all you fellow Swifties and Beliebers and hip cool Zoomers? I'm, I'm not a Swiftie. I'm, not, I'm not, not a huge Taylor Swift fan, but the people have demanded that I bring my hip hop pop music maven brilliance and wisdom to bear here on some new ditty from Taylor. Karma, featuring Ice Spice. I'm a huge Ice Spice fan, so that's great. My condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. 14 million views in nine days. Take it away, Taylor. Karma is that girl, like... God. You talking sh- for the hell of it. Addicted to betrayal, but you're relevant. You terrified. To look down Cause if you dare You see the glare Of everyone you burn Just to get there It's coming back Around And I Keep my side Of the street clean You a pause there. I noticed something somewhat recently, and once you see it, you can't really unsee it. And I'd always had a little bit of an intuition about this, but all pop music is evil. (laughs) I'm not saying there's no exception ever, but the modern popular music industry has just been evil, and it refers to evil and heretical and very often diabolical concepts, not just Sam Smith jiggling around with the devil hat on, but even this idea, karma is my boyfriend, karma is a god, I love karma, this kind of occult, demonic sort of religious view that says that Taylor does good stuff, and so she gets good stuff back, and the person she's castigating here does bad stuff, and so that person gets bad stuff back. So there's this heresy here, which is this idea that Taylor can earn her own salvation, I guess would be the logical conclusion of that, that she will receive an endless cycle of good because strictly of her good works, not because of her free will's cooperation with the grace of God, which is primary, but just because she does good stuff. The reason that bad stuff happens to you is because you're a bad person. It's a very corrupt theology, but very popular. And like all of pop music, it just promotes these views that are heretical and blasphemous and sacrilegious. Right now, head on over to genucell.com slash KnowlesYT. Our friends over at Genucell sold out of their dark spot corrector, and our listeners have been begging, begging on their knees for a restock. I've got great news. Just in time for the summer, it is back. Genucell's famous dark spot corrector has not one, but three cutting edge ingredients. Goes to work fast to target sunspots, dark spots, liver spots, and even old discoloration, both on your face and hands. You can now enjoy your summer sun, beach, and barbecues without embarrassing spots. Genucel's most popular package also features their summer essentials like the best-selling Ultra Retinol Moisturizer with a powerful retinol alternative for safe use in the sun. You will be amazed at how quickly you will see the results or 100% of your money back guaranteed. Go to genucel.com slash KnowlesYT right now to get your dark spot corrector in the Genucel most popular package. That is genucel.com slash KnowlesYT right now. Save over 70, 70% off Genucel's most popular package. All orders will include a mystery luxury gift while supplies last. Genucel.com slash KnowlesYT today. Your text about a bounce. Yeah. Karma is a fire in your house. God. And she about to pop up an announce. Like, and she never leaving you alone. Yeah. Watch her put your yeah. house on the throne. Put a pause there. This is the counsel, the quote unquote comfort that Job's friends give to him in the book of Job. Job is an upright man who follows the will of God and he's very righteous. And God allows the devil to test his faith takes away Job's house and kills his whole family and (laughs) takes away all of his property and puts boils all over his body. And Job's friends, quote unquote friends, come to him and they say, Job, you must be a really bad guy. The only reason that you would be punished this way is because of how bad you are. And there's Job and he's saying, I'm not bad. I'm not doing bad stuff. I'm, I'm righteous. But 
Bad things happen to good people. The rain falls on the just and the unjust alike. This is a great consolation for people who are suffering, because we're all going to suffer in life. And the suffering is sometimes a consequence of your actions, but sometimes it just happens to you. You, know, you could be the most wonderful, best person in the world, and you're going to suffer. That's, that's the way the world works. And if you believe that bad stuff only happens to you if you're a bad person, that's going to lead you into despair when that misfortune finally happens to you. A really, really corrupt, wicked, wicked understanding of the world. Keep going. Got you waving pretty white flags, cleaning for that cash, thinking it'll save ya. Now you switching up your behavior. It's okay, baby. You ain't gotta worry, karma never gets lazy. So I keep my head up, my bread up, I won't let up. Never. Promise that you'll never endeavor with none lesser. Ever, ever. I be dragging that wagon. Karma is a beauty, winning that pageant. Yeah. Cause karma is my boyfriend. Yeah. Karma is a god. Wow, this sort of this ziggurat. Occult imagery. Man. Creepy. I'm still here and thriving entirely of my own works, not thanks to anybody else or God's grace, just me, 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 me. Sweet like justice, karma is a queen. Karma takes all my friends to the summit. Karma is the guy on the screen. Coming straight home to me. Karma is my boyfriend. Pause here. This also gets to another new agey idea, which is the idea of manifesting, the idea that if you insist upon something through your will and psyche, that the universe, the created world, will conform to your demand, which is obviously deeply heretical because it suggests that you are God, that you are more powerful than God, that you can force the created world to conform to your will. Through my own actions, I can get the guy on the screen to come home to me. I can get this to happen. I can get that to happen. Because I am, I am a god. Okay. I'm going to worship a god that is just an expression of myself and my will and me, me, me. Pretty terrible.